What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a head to headphone head to head uh, as we're gonna put the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras. These guys are gonna go head to head against the Sony WF one thousand XM fives. Now these are two of the best if as far as active noise canceling goes. So we're going to see exactly who sounds the best between these two. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we got the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras, the Sony WH-1000 XM5s. Uh, if you want to see the price specs and app breakdown for each of these earbuds, I'll leave links in the description below for my unboxing videos. That way you can go ahead and check these out. Check those out and then come on back and join us for this epic head to head. Also, make sure you like, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the channel. It all helps it totally free. That way you're notified when videos like this and others drop. And let's see. I think I covered everything. So let's get to it. All right, we are in. First up, let me give myself, I think I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I'm in quiet. Let me put myself in the wear. That way I'm not yelling at you. We've got the the QC Ultra headphones all paired up. We're in the app. Let's go ahead and go I'll show you my EQ settings real quick. All right, we're there. Okay, so now that problem updating. Yeah, I did anything to update, but okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I don't know what that was all about. We'll go ahead and put ourselves in immersive immersion mode. All right, that's how we're gonna rock our music today. All right, so let's go ahead in and get into our first, actually make sure we're on our optimum listening level. All right, we're there now. Let's go ahead and grab our first song. Okay, there we go. Again, great, really nice brightness. The clarity is definitely there. Nice crisp piano keys. Sounds great. Now we got the background instruments coming in. Nice rumble from the cello. The detail is definitely there. Oh, wow. Sounds so good. This immersion mode has definitely done great things for these headphones as well as their earbuds. Light, the clarity is very nice. Now we got the background vocalist on here. Again, balance is there. Nothing seems to be fading away, fading to the back. Nice detailing from the background instruments. Sounds really clean, really clear. Just a, just a great sound. It's that immersion mode really, really puts these guys into another, onto another level in my opinion. Just great sound. All right, let's go ahead and get into our bass test. Here we go, base 305. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is where these guys excel, man. Ooh, that low end. Okay, here we go. And not to mention, I just want to mention also, the other sound in here sounds like it's like swirling, very clear, even with that bass. Here, give me that again. Oh, the bass is so clean. Let's see how they sound maxed out. Okay. All right. I think they sound pretty good, max volume. Oh, here we go with that low end. Give me that again. Oh, it just rumbles, man. Sounds so good. I love it. The uh, Bose, these two headphones, bass 
it, I think it's their forte, but man, sounds really good. All right, let's real quick get a little bit of E40. Oh, nice base punch. Reverb. Sub bass or sub bass rumble. Fades away nice. Ripples in a pond. Okay. Vocals come out. Nice, clean, and clear. Oh, this sounds so good. Again, vocals clean, nice and clear. The bass thump and the bass hit sound really, really good. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, let's go ahead and get into our final song. All right, here we go. All right, very clean. Nice, warm start with the keyboard and drums. Okay, these saxophones in. It sounds really, really clean, really clean. I think it could be a little bit more of a crisper sound, in my opinion, but it still sounds really good. And it's balanced. So it's not sounding as Rick is recessed. All right, here comes the high note. Oh, sounds so good. Now we're going to get the rest of the background instruments coming in. Sounds great. Oh, yeah. I love the balance. I love the fact that the sound stays widened out. This immersion mode is top notch. All right. This immersion mode is definitely top notch on these headphones. These guys sound great. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and get these swapped out. We're going to put the XM5s to the test. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. We've got the XM5s all paired up and in the ear. Let's go over to our sound setting. Right now we are in ambient mode. As you can see by the, the nice picture here, ambient so mode still all the way up. And here we go into our EQ settings. I want to show you what I have. That is my EQ settings, how I have it where it says, uh, you know, find my EQ, find my equalizer, that app, that portion of the app of when they did that, and this is what they pulled up for me. I think I get a really, really good sound out of them. Um, all right, so let's go ahead down. I just wanted to make sure that I have my uh, spatial, yep, my spatial sound, spatial sound is set up. All right, so we don't have to worry about that. And also LDAC has been turned on. So I really want to show you guys. I don't know if you've seen it up here at the top. There's L, where it says LDAC. That's for my codec. All right, I want to show you guys real quick. The LDAC is turned on here on the phone as well. So we are getting the best uh, sound out of these guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and actually, let me see. I just want to make sure that one more thing. All right, it looks like I, we got it covered. All right. Sorry about that. Thanks for indulging me on that anyway. All right. So let's go ahead and get into our noise canceling. All right. Noise canceling is turned on. Everything just got definitely quiet. <laughs> Man, these are so good when it comes to that. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure we are optimal listening level. All right. We're there. I think we're there. Yep. We're there. Right there. All right, so let's go. All right. Again, right off the top. Nice sound, a little warmer, uh, but still got nice, clean vocals. Piano sounds nice and clean, clear. And you got the echoing detail, so that's definitely there. All right, now we got the uh, background instruments coming in. All right, sounding very clean. Very clear. Nice, nice cello, the little, the bass that from the cello when you hit some strings sounds very nice. All right, 
Now we're going to get the background instrument vocalist in. Again, we got that spatialized sound going on here too. Sounds really good. Sound like I got music all around me. Great sound. Again, leave background vocalist come in. Very clear, nice balance. No one's sitting, no one's uh, uh, more prominent than the other. I like that. Very, very clean sounding. I like that. Again, just a little warmer than the uh, Boast. Uh, so just keep that in mind for later on. Let's go ahead and get into our bass sets. All right, here we go. Man, this bass is incredible. Ooh, hello and Oh, just rattles, just rumbles. Let's see what they sound maxed out. Ooh. All right, let me back that down. Let me back that down. All right. Man, sounds good. All right, here we go again, real quick. I'm just, I'm just loving the clear, the how clean this bass is. Mmm. Mmm. Rattle my. All right, I get up off of that. I can get lost in that again. I have very, very nice bass, clean. That reverb was fantastic. It was fantastic. All right, let's go ahead real quick. Let's take a little bit of a E40, see how it sounds. With that bass, nice thump. Again, reverb fades away. A little sooner than I'd like, but it does do the fades away nicely. Now we got the vocals up. Okay, they sound nice and clear. Clear vocals, good bass. Sounds sounds good. All right, all right. I got. See, I was getting, I was rocking on that. Got a little lost, <laughs> a little tied up in there too. I didn't want to, but man, that bass thump and that reverb definitely, definitely does it. All right, let me let's go ahead and get into our final song here. All right, nice warm start with the keyboard drums. Very clean. All right, now we're going to get the uh, lead saxophone. Oh, nice. Very, uh, a warm feel to this song through these headphones. More of a, uh, a relaxed vibe to it, if you will. Very nice. Like you would sit back and enjoy this with a drink. All right, here goes a high note. Oh yeah, very nice. Now we got the rest of the background instruments. They sound good. They sound really good. They sound really, really good. I love the background instruments, how they, why not the sound stage? They they sound engaged. The balance is there, and you still get in that kick. You still getting that thump from the drums. It just sounds really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and get this cleaned up, and we'll come back. We'll talk about these two. We're gonna pick our winner. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. Let's go ahead and talk about these two. First, let's start off with the Quiet Comfort Ultras. And what can I say but immersive mode? That really put these guys over the top when it came to uh, overall sound. They have great clarity when it came to the mid, the mids and highs, especially vocals and everything. Um, it just got a little bit of a brighter sound. Uh, just sound really good. Bass, uh, I, the bass was fantastic, especially that immersion mode. It was just really, really good. And then when I did the uh, bass woofer test, that low end reverb was out of the park. It sounds so good. Uh, and 
man, it's good. It was just a great sound all the way through uh, all four uh, all four songs. Um, it, it just sound really, really clean and crisp. I think mainly because of, um, like I said, the immersion mode gave it a brighter sound, uh, which then gave you more detail. And then on top of that, it imp improved on the bass in the low end as well. So you didn't miss out on one to benefit uh, the other. Now, if you go over to the XM5s, uh, these guys are pretty damn close uh, when it comes to, and they have their uh, their uh, spatial audio feature as well, and it did a really great job. Also, my only, if, my only takeaway from these, actually, let me back up. Before I say that, let me talk about the bass on these, all right? I think the bass on these earbud on these headphones is better than the bass on the Bose uh, Quiet Comfort Ultras. I, I have to say that uh, the bass on these guys with the immersion is really good, but I think the XM fives is just a little bit better um, when it cut in that category. Uh, that being said, the one drawback that I think uh, really hurts these headphones is the fact that uh when it came they're not when it comes to mids and highs they're not as clear they're not as crisp they're um that's where uh the quiet comforts kind of take over and then run away with it because uh up until that point i think the xm5s had them um but when you get into the vocal clarity instrumental clarity and brightness of sound uh, and then of course with that immersion mode, that kind of puts the, uh, QC ultras over the top over the XM fives, which I mean, sound really good. I'm glad I, I got these. I still want the blue ones. <laughs> so I'll, don't be surprised. You show up in the head to head and I have the blue, the blue pair here because I still want to get those. Uh, I really like that, but I digress. These guys sound very, I'm glad I have both of these in my collection actually, because these are damn good ear, but headphones. Um, but my winner in this one will be the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras uh, cause of that brighter sound. Uh, other than that, it, I think it would have been a wash, uh, honestly, with the XM5's head beating, edging them out because of the bass. But because of, because of the other, uh, and other uh, factors, the ultras get the win. All right, so this has been a head-to-head -head between two of my my favorites and two of my best uh, headphones out there. Um, in my opinion, when it comes to noise canceling and everything like that, but the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras will get the win on sound. Uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to join me as I continue to do head-to-heads like this and others. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Like I said earlier, that way you guys uh, can join me and uh, join the community and be notified when videos like this and others drop. Trust me, I'll have a lot more uh, head to heads coming up. I even got a, I got I even got some big ballers that are gonna go head to head on here. So make sure you subscribe so that way you'll be notified when that video, when those videos drop. And then I want to do a top five headphones uh so far that i have i'm gonna do a video for them as well i'm thinking it might be a live stream or i might just do it as a video but then uh i got some plans so make sure you subscribe that way you will be you'll be in on the in on it i also got uh something else coming up uh that i want you guys to i'm gonna notify you guys once i have it all set up i'm gonna notify you uh and let you know uh, what's going on there. That way you can uh, join me there as well. Um, so again, I'll let you guys know, but thank you guys for coming out. It's a lot coming down the pipe from Ronald tech and I hope you're there. Peace.